so lackluster and unimpressive. And for that reason, I ordered some PCDs. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Josh and Terry back again. And today, we're going to finish that fucking headliner because <laughs> <laughs> it needs to get done. It's <laughs> way overdue. So uh, let's get to it. I lost Terry. I gotta find Terry. I don't know where Terry went. I think he said something about the garage, but fucking door is closed. Let me see. Look at this beauty right here. Yeah, what up, bro? What's and up, then guys? the car too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this is this is the crown jewel right here. Legit CDMs. Legit CDMs. Mm. Where'd you put a look kit? Accelerate game. Oh, nice. Yeah, what up, Jay? What up, bro? What's happening? Chilling, bro. Chilling. This thing is, this thing is sexy. It's a little dirty, it was raining over here, or uh, on my house. Oh, is that the uh, artwork body shop? Yeah. That's one that we, we tried to make a view, but I could have waited much longer. Oh. <laughs> I got impatient. That's clean. You got the itch. That's clean. Alright guys, a little update, so I got chips in my teeth. Look at this rat's nest of just shit. Yeah, we did it wrong. <laughs> we did it right, but we did it wrong. We should have organ. We should did it from front to back, or back to front, Organized. or side to side. You know, but organization is key. We started from the middle and then worked our way out. Like yeah. Dumb people. So. Yeah. But we got Jay on the uh, far corner. It, it's just a rat's nest. So up here, these are where the visors sit. We're not really gonna mess with this because the visors are gonna stay closed and you're not gonna see it anyways. Yeah. We got a few sprinkled around the corners. The main design is in the middle. I'm going to block that purposely if you didn't already see it. Um, but we're getting close. However, it looked like it's going to start to rain. So we're going to move into the garage because this shit is getting turned on tonight. It started raining. Now it's not raining, even though it's still light outside. But we're working on the, bin, the garage. So we got the table set up. And um, you see this rat's nest? You guys can't even tell what it's going to look like. But I can assure you it's going to be pretty dope. <laughs> Isn't that right, Jay? Hell yeah. Terry? I Terry's sure poking so. the last couple holes, right? I How many you got left? I don't know. Guys. I think I, you got four left or something like that. Something like that. That's Guys, like that. there are like 600 in here. It's actually kind of ridiculous. So he bought a 400 set, right? Um, <laughs> When we poked about 150... I counted the extra strands and we still had 400 left. And that's excluding the meteors. <laughs> we had 11 strands of eight. So you do the math on that. There's like 600 fucking strands in here. It's kind of ridiculous. Where's the meteors at? Oh, I can't really see it. Oh, so there goes the meteors. Oh, that's a regular light. Leave it on one solid color real quick. So if you guys see the flash, those are the meteors. Well, look at that. Obviously, we have to cut a lot of it out. There you go. Fire, kind of. Yeah. It's orange it's and green. Is that really all in the fire. same color, though? Because yeah, they look different. different. Like, there's green, orange, yellow. Yeah, but it's supposed to be orange. See, I pressed orange. I see. Now, this one is purple. Right all right, guys. So, basically, the theme we were going for was... Here's like the Milky Way or the center of the ga the galaxy with the the spread right here, the spread coming down here, and then there's another spread up that way with several different stars mixed in between. And we got these little diamonds in here, right here. We got one here, got a little diamond here. There's a little diamond in that corner right there. There's one little tiny one, and then there's a big diamond over there. That was my idea. <laughs> Then we got the meteors, which are not right. Oh, there they go. There's meteors all over it. So, 
Ooh, party mode. Let us know what you think. Put it down in the comments. We're gonna try and install this right now, but Terry uh, forgot the power cord. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna run it right now and uh, see if we can get this just at least installed and in place until he can get the power cord. Um, so unfortunately, you guys can blame Terry for this. Yes. I'll turn the light on. It's not gonna be on and working in the car tonight. Terry's fault. Yeah, yeah. Rip Terry in the comments. I'll fight all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you guys have a look at what the starlight's gonna be. This headache that we just went through. Yo, pay somebody to do this. This shit is not fun. <laughs> what up, y'all? Same video, different day. Um, we're going to be actually taking the time to install the headliner and all the new pillars, the newly wrapped pillars and everything. All right, guys, so to start off wiring and getting everything working, start with this. So what I have in the middle here, the middle console, is, um, well, obviously a cigarette lighter, but with this piece right here, it will allow me to run two things because I also have the stuff for my audio. So what's happening is this is gonna connect to that. And then we're gonna run this wire through the car underneath the seats and all that, underneath all that stuff. And this is gonna connect to the, the module. And then that's pretty much gonna be power supply. This actually has fuses and stuff. So it's like surge protected and anything just in case. So hopefully, hopefully it works smoothly. So that's what we're gonna get started with. And we also have to take off the headliner too. So that's another thing. All right, guys, you see Terry's removing the visors. Um, it's pretty simple. Just pretty much anything that looks like a clip, pop it out. This section right here with the controls for the, the moonroof, pop them out. Lights, pop them out. These clips right here on the side of the grab handles, they just pop off and it's just a bunch of screws. Take everything out and then your headliner is ready to come out. We're gonna do some minor adjustments here and then try to fit the rat's nest without having it sag. It's a lot of, a lot of wiring. It's gonna be fun. guys the headliner is in as you saw we uh, we got it in pretty quick it was still a little bit of a struggle a big struggle but it's in so now we're just gonna pop all the clips in make sure everything's lined up tuck all the lines that we need to and then we're gonna start routing the box and we'll show you how we do that we're annoyed no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so what the issue is is one we didn't do it right <laughs> so, we have like like all these loose wires these are supposed to be like you're supposed to pull them through you're supposed to cut them so when, when it comes to this section it's nice and even all the way down but us being us we didn't do that so now we're figuring out what to do with this but for hold the on, most hold part on, hold on hold on hold on <laughs> let's correct this real quick let's correct this real quick we did do it right we just did one step backwards yeah so we should have pulled let hang and clipped inside yeah with that root that loom being uh you know nice and straight but you know we didn't do that <laughs> yeah 
we clipped and then just threw the loom to the side. Yeah. So right now, what we're gonna do is just take a couple of zip ties. Make sure it's nice and snug. Snug that against the wall right there. But this is how you wanna run it. This is the correct way of running it. So we're running the, the loom through the C-pillar and it's gonna tuck back. And what we're gonna actually do is zip tie it to the existing harness that's back here, this harness. So it stays nice and snug all the way up until the bottom here. And in the bottom here, the management for the, the loom itself, or the, the battery pack, I guess, whatever you would call it. This is just hanging free in here because this is a nice spot to tuck away. Uh -huh. And it's not in the way, you can still put your seat on and it still breathes. There's, there's, there's room for it to breathe in there, you know? This is tucked right here for the meteors and that connects to this so there's enough wiring to go around. We ran the wire in the beginning already so this is just going to tuck under here and when we're done the C pillar is going to cover that. The seats are going to cover everything here. You won't be able to see any of the loom or the wiring because it's all tucked under carpet into the glove box or to center console right here. That's so the power source. Basically it's gonna be super clean. All right, so that's pretty much as neat as it's gonna get, guys. We got it zip tied in a few different spots, and um, it's not bad. If you guys remember the sexy little snake skin, this was gonna be the combination because it just goes with the car. So uh, let's cover it up, Terry, and we'll see how it looks afterwards. Yes. All right, so you can see, guys, nice, fits on seamlessly, and. Um, the loom is nicely hidden. Now right here is where it's gonna tuck underneath the seats. So we should be good to go after this. This was the biggest test fit. And look, it's not bulging out. As you can see, it fits tucked away under the door. We still have the, the weather seal off, but it fits, it tucks, it looks perfect, and there's no bulging. So in other words, we're good to go. Now we're gonna go throw this car back together because clearly we still have a lot of work to do. But after that, we'll show you guys the finished product. Yes. <laughs> oh you, yeah. Mind you, it's not the twinkle one. No, it's not the twinkle one. But it said these ones have uh. So they have like the that meteor. little fade mode. Yeah, you can see the meteor. There you go. Boom. It actually kind of looks like thunder. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, so you can see here goes. Ah, uh, that actually shows up on camera very well. Here goes the middle of our galaxy. And then you can see how it spirals out. And that was the plan with the meteors. So if you see the big conjunction or cluster of lights right there, that's what we were going for. So there you guys go, there you have it. We showed you how to run, well, basically the best way to run all the um, the loom for the, the wire on the lights. We showed you guys the perfect location to run it. Don't run it on any other pillar except the C pillar. The C pillar is gonna give you the most clearance to run the loom and tuck it nicely. You can zip tie it down against the uh, existent harness that's there. And then when you put your seats back together, it tucks right in and puts away nicely. Plus you got space that's kind of like in the uh, in the little corner, about that yay high, that you can tuck the actual module. <laughs> you guys got space to tuck the module you guys got space to tuck anything else you want to do and it's breathable space so you can actually not worry about your product overheating here go your lights that's the perfect way to run them and in terry's interior is pretty much wrapped up except for the vip carpets which we've been, we've been waiting on for months yeah you're right <laughs> You're right. Florida happened, all right. Hey, 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 Florida happened. That about wraps it up. I hope you, uh, I hope you got the knowledge you needed to run the wiring in the perfect position for yourselves. Um, especially on these cars. Especially on these cars, it's kind of tight with with space. And then uh, also, there you go. We got the snake skin, and uh, we also have the glitter top. The snake skin on all the pillars. I see it right there, especially. 
that's just Terry's forehead. Yeah. <laughs> so this match is basically it's on the gray and carbon bronze pearl theme. You know, blue and brown. Blue and brown. It's a lot of blue and a lot of brown and a lot of gray in this car everywhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this has diamond powder too. Yeah, it's diamond powder as well. And the car is carbon bronze, so it's brown. So there's a few diamonds on it. Anyways, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I know this video is probably a little long, but it's a juicy one. It's informative and it's good. So, like we said, thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, like the video, please. It puts us into a uh, a YouTube algorithm where it suggests our videos more. So, like the video, especially if you made it this far, and. Um, yeah let don't forget to subscribe think. yeah let us know what you think yeah let us know what you think anyways guys we out catch you in the next one Peace.